Federico Chiesa is one of my favorite human beings on the planet because of this, my friends. I went ahead and skipped the Juve game because, well, they were in second. They'd just gone second because the team below them, Inter, I believe, had hopped to top. So they were going to smash us. They played a 4-4-2 with Weston McKinney. How you doing, Weston? And then this happens in the 43rd minute from the winger position. He takes out Lestian and gets a second yellow. 25th minute and 43rd minute. Straight red, my friend. Not straight red. Red card after yellow card accumulation. We score in the... 46th minute, I guess the first minute of added on time. Let's just take a look. Because we went wide, higher tempo, um, still shorter passing, and just spread them out. They went 4-3-2, which I was like insulted a little bit by uh, because of that. And then Adam freaking Ida in the 89th minute seals the deal. Look at that. Look at all the space on the left here. He plays it in. Tonyo to Ida, who smashes it home. 2-0. And and we yeah we we kind of we kind of needed it my friends because well it hadn't gone well really some of these we were really unlucky um, or maybe I was you know not smart about how our tactical setup or whatever um, like we were even here we 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 got the equalizer in the 77th minute against Napoli and then they scored in the 88th minute we just didn't have the staying power to to last all the way through the full 90 this goal here by Ronnie, or Rooney, whatever his name is, got goal of the month. I have not had a goal of the month on FM21. I got the little notification down there for Steam. It's like, you just got this. Watch this. Inside forward, from the left. He plays on the left. Goes all the way to the right and zips it in. And there's a garage door for emphasis. I mean, insane goal. It just was too little too late. And again, like, against... Eh. And then we drew with Atalanta, which was great. Fantastic. But this is the most unexpected thing I've run into yet. Um, we're going to take on Sosuelo in seventh and Lazio in fourth. And then I'll it, the next episode will skip Inter or Impoli and Inter because they're at first. They're probably going to smash us. But then, like, this is where the going it gets real here. 20th place, Sara and Natania. 18th place, like, battling with us for that, you know, first safe spot, Parma. Sampdoria in 9th, Fiorentina in 13th, Cagliari in 16th, Spal in 19th, and Roma in 6th. So, rescue really starts here. So, we'll, we'll get this one out of the way today. We'll skip these two games and come back here and see how we do. Um, we do have some knocks here. So, <laughs> Ronnie, he, he exerted himself too much. He got a hernia, so he's out for another three weeks. Um, Milico, who hasn't really played a lot for me as the manager, is out with knee tendonitis for another two weeks. He's been out for three weeks. Um, Coney's out with a virus. Um, I just love that Adam Ida with his two stars came in and was like, well, we might as well, um, uh, because we had a lot of yellows and I needed to get that left winger off and he came in and smashed the, like, put it away for good type goal. Get in, son! We've changed the tactical setup just a little bit. I'm, st I'm I, I would have kind of figured out as we keep bouncing around the... 5 1 2 2 or 5 1 2 1 1 or the 4 3 3 and it's just like I think the players are getting confused the familiarity is not very high so we're just going to stick with the 4 3 3 this is essentially gaming ball right lower tempo um short passing da 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 and force them outside but I am going to modify it based off of what our analysts think so the analysts say that uh Sosuelo plays gegen pressing but is also pretty poor at marking and positioning so with that i'm gonna try and take advantage with pass into space they also recommend we play a higher defensive line and that has not worked i don't think our center backs are fast enough to drop back in this league to take on you know those really good players so we're actually playing a lower line of engagement up here with the the attackers and the midfielders kind of scrunching down and then forcing them outside so like that's fine you can have the ball you can have your goalkeeper distribution it also said that Sosuelo is really good with kicking the ball long, so like from the goalkeeper spot. So that's why we're like, we're not gonna, we're we're gonna fall back and let them build out of the back, and then try and as they're building out of the back, win the ball back and counter. Um, again, shoot on sight has been something recommended of the last four or five games because we've had a lot of touches in the box and not converted them into anything. So this is how we line up. Um, Lestian comes in on the left. He's not really Matt Sharp. Um, and the, oh, I almost started Ida because he was on a five point five or something in training and so i yelled at him three days before the game and he's up to a 6.65 so he's he's gotten that spot back um we've rotate not rotated but like I, it, the other thing with the juventus game which was kind of hilarious is 
I heavily rotated because I was like, there's no sense. We have this game like four days later after the Juve game. There's no point in burning up all of my starters, especially when we're in a really bad run of form. So like, let's rest some players. And then they go out and win 2-0 because of the, the, the playing against 10 men for, you know, essentially a half, right? And so... Bellotti starts, Chiquinho on the right, Lestien coming in on the, on the left because Roni is uh, uh, out with that hernia, Lanetti and Lukic in the middle, uh, Danilo in that I'm going to command the defense type, defensive midfielder role, which brings in Mandragon, that's awesome, that's not a thing. Uh, but he's more of a cover, Masuaku on the left, um, primarily because I want to keep Ola available to take Singo off if single start Singo starts to tire. Um, and then Izzo has been like a, a standout ball playing defender, you know, done a good job for us, been consistent. Um, and then Sirigu. So that just explaining kind of why that looks a little different. We're going balanced, even though we're at home. Let's see if our analysts are right. I've also put be more expressive again with the, um, you know, the vision of the flair roaming from your position if they're bad at marking and positioning will they chase those roaming players to where we can then pass them to space or make take advantage elsewhere we'll have to see all right here we, it said we're the favorites I'm, I'm not i'm not sure why we're one one and three in our last five it's kind of an interesting decision by the bookmakers they're one one and three in their last five is it that we is it that we just won our last game i mean they are on 46 points there's no way Team Talk was like, we're the favorites here, which I guess I should have looked at the, the odds beforehand because we are we we should not be the favorites. Let's put it that way. Um, but you never know. Maybe maybe our tactical adjustments will work out. Mm, we'll see. Oh, it's in our defensive third. That was too easy. I mean, that was just too easy, right? Like, that was just... <laughs> wow. Um, just let him pass it into the net. Like I said, we're, we're not supposed to win this game, but I was a little hopeful. We, we just beat Juve. Ted man Juve. Oh boy. Is this going to be one of those games? It's, 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 it's kind of frustrating to category where you're like, yeah, I'm going to skip the Juve game, even though I told you we were going to play it because like, there's no way we win that. Right um and then we win and everyone's like oh and then we come back and i'll i'll give you two duds here today but we'll see all right masuaku okay but belati was fighting off of center that's a terrible terrible pass long ball over the top okay we're there i was kind of wondering how far off his line our keeper was or okay please mm. oh oh they gave up on it miscommunication oh he tries to doink the keeper mate Slotted home. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, that was, that was a good idea, though. That was good positioning from from the left back, but that was a good idea to, to get it behind him. I don't I don't mind that. We go again. Okay, reset. Okay, on the left, played in, lovely. Okay, do it again. Reset. Okay. Oh, you shoot on sight, huh? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Blocked. Okay, won that back. Get it back to him. He's going to do it again. Oh, mate. We're, we're getting close. Let's do it in courage. They like that. They like that. All right, again, again. Test the keeper. Oh, it falls. Bologna is there to pick up the pieces. Kitchen. That's about a shoot on sight as you can get. Point blank range. Keeper is not happy. Punts it out to the center circle. It, is it that poor marketing and positioning? Oh, that's just an absolute howler from Mari. Is that how you say it? Their left back. He only goes to a 6.7 with that. I'd say that was clearly his fault, but whatever. Oh, we're being... This is the Gagan pressing, right? Okay. Get it clear. Hope that their positioning is terrible. It's not. Nice. No, not nice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There, There's... Oh, that was Caputo. That's the guy we tried to sign. He said we didn't have the... We weren't good enough for him. Like, oh, well, well. He is good, though. I mean, he's deliciously good. Uh, okay. 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 Nice and calm, Danilo. That, I love that. They're marking Danilo. Okay, but look at Masuaku. Acres of space. Can he do his man in? Do it. 
Do it. Don't get dispossessed. Dispossessed. Pilati heads it down offside. Oh, I thought it was offside. Was he offside or not? You decide in the comments. Boy, they left so much space. Now, he got closed down here. Masuaku did. Pings it over. Bilotti flicks it on. I'm going to wait to see if we get a VAR or a, an offside line replay. I guess maybe the right back? That looked like he would, would have at least deserved a yellow red line like to show he was on. But maybe I'm crazy. Okay. Can we get a third? Oh, plays into the space. Keeper comes off his line very nicely. We haven't had as much possession, but I think that goes with the be more expressive, the, um, you know, passing into space. Get it up top. Bellotti. Oh. <laughs> Shoot on sight even when there's a man right in front of you. Oh, that was a terrible decision from there. Was that the winger? Oh, but he wins it back. Ball over the top. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, a third goal there would have been <laughs> nice so we could rotate. Not really. I don't think we're going to be rotating. I'm happy with your performance, lads. Let's just keep it positive. I'm just, like, there's still like 18 of the team that doesn't like, like actively dislikes me, and 13 that are neutral. Not a single player likes me. All the press conferences. This is also kind of interesting. I must not have been favored for the job because all the press conferences have had negative or downcast. Like the 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 journalists hate me. It's like, what did I do to you all? You know, like, come on. Okay, Singo's starting to get a little tired, as is Lestien. For now, he stays in. Plays. Oh, run a little harder, mate. Oh, no, not like this. Not because of a midfielder decided, an advanced playmaker, no less, decided to not run towards the ball. Why did you run away from him? Why did you run away from Aguilar? Oh, dear. Let's demand more. Right here. Less the end. Just completely leaves his man. Now, to be fair, maybe Masuaku should have been out there, but it's like, mate, what was that? I think I'm going to take uh, Less the end off, and we'll bring on... Oh, no, Adamite is nervous. I'm not, I'm not bringing nervous guys on. We don't really have a good option there, do we? Uh, 20 minutes left. I think we leave it. Let's see if they react to the demand more. If Lestian really goes terrible here. Oh, I was going to sub. Linetti is one yellow card away. Oh, Lukic is down to a 6.4. And I apologize. I haven't heard your comments yet on how to pronounce all this. So if I'm mispronouncing it, my apologies. Singo steps forward. Mm, don't love that pass all the way back to the keeper. Pass like five of your teammates and at least one other of the opposition. Maybe two. But I guess it worked that time. Okay, boys. Let's do something. Okay, who's he got? He's got Lusty and he's got Linetti. Back to Masuaku. Can he... Okay. Lukic acres of space, but lets himself get closed down. Danilo finds Singo on the right. Singo gets past the winger. He's got trailing help. He's going to cross it. Mm. Ambitious. Oh, oh. Pause. Uh, yeah, Lukic has got to come off for that, me friends. Ooh, who is the best advanced playmaker? Can we put somebody on the right? Yes. We're going to do this. Uh, Bonazoli, uh, Bona, Bonazoli is a quite good player who's a fringe player for us. Who hasn't had a whole lot of opportunity to play. One start, eight subs, two goals, and a 6.6. So we're going to throw him in here at the end. He's definitely a striker, but we'll play him on that inside forward. He is left-footed, um, and that leaves Ch Chiquinho. On a 7.0, still in the game. And then we're going to take single off and bring on Ola to freshen up. We're essentially freshening up this right side. And in fact, because of that, I'm going to say focus play down the right. Oh, and they're nervous. I got faith in you. Yes, get in, lads. All they needed was a little hug. A little GHG hug. A little, little, little pat, pat, pat. Um, Izzo has played a lot and is on a 6.5. So we'll bring on Zalatel. Who is right footed? I'm just gonna tell him to play central defender. Get in, son, he's motivated. Ah, 
I'll take a draw. I wasn't expecting to win. It's just harsh when you're when you're up uh, and you give up a goal like that. But uh, I'm gonna say I was happy. Demotivated, mate. I mean, I like that you got high standards, but like we were playing seventh. Okay, they they have now. 47 points and we have 24 so it, it's the same distance right 20 there were 23 points above us in the in the match now maybe they're upset because parma could win and hop us but like a draw against seventh i will take all day long i'm gonna hop us forward and bring you right back to take on fourth place lazio Ooh. you know one thing i noticed here it's not great the wage budget is expected to go down to 975 grand next year that's 100,000 less. Actually, 120,000 less. And the minimum guarantee budget will be zero. Now, I'm hoping that's because right now they're not confident we're going to stay up. So maybe that gets better if we do. Otherwise, we got big problems, right? The other thing that I think I neglected to show you is, again, some of this is got... Um, some of our senior team, like the backup, backup goalkeeper. But really, like pretty much this is all under 20s. Look how large this squad is. Why do we have so many players? Same thing. Now, again, some of these under, under 18s include, I'm trying to get some match sharpness into some of our senior team players, so ignore the unavailables. But even with that, look how big the squad is. We got to start selling players off. This is crazy, crazy talk. All right, we take on Lazio today, currently in third. It says that they've got us well scouted. Um, we're still going to play balanced. We're going to do all the opposition instructions. Uh, Masuaku is out with a tight, uh, like, I don't know, what is it? A tight thigh. So it, it doesn't make sense to risk him in a game that I'm not anticipating us winning. Do we just start Ola? Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess we might do that. Let me go. I put in Tonyo, but Ola is the better player. I don't think it's going to matter, really, unfortunately. But let's go. Always good when you tell your striker, more of that tonight, please. Now, they're playing a 5-1-2-2, two, two, or 5-3-2 two with a DM, which I wonder if these three can handle their two. Does that give us a little bit of a, a, little bit of a benefit if I can get that out? We're in 17th currently. Parma plays after us. Just to show you the instruction, we went balanced. I am saying overlap the right. I'm hoping we can overwhelm with with uh, Singo being the attacking wing back we have and one of our better players. Get him get a two v one going against their only wing back, and then get the ball in. But we have gone be more disciplined, work the ball in the box because shoot on sight kind of works, but not really. Still counter pressing. I'm, I'm gonna say counter. I think that makes sense. Still the standard defensive line with a lower line of engagement and pushing them outside. We should have the advantage on the outside if, if our wingers or inside forwards come back to help. I'm not, I, I'm, I may be just talking to fill space here, and it's not really going to be worth much. I would take a draw. We're playing third place. I would take a draw. Uh-oh. Cleared off the line by Singo. That's that wonderful default tactic for set pieces. Get in, son. Get in. Defaults. Let's go. Um, we did bring uh, Danilo back to the back line and then uh, Rincon into the DM spot. He is just aggressive and unhappy all of the time, which is kind of an interesting, you know, interesting situation we find ourselves in. Danilo heads that away. Immobile collects it. Okay, reset boys. Out on the wing. Okay, Almada. Is that Tiago Almada? Don't give up a penalty. Don't you do it. Blot. Chase that down, mate. Linetti. Son. Oh, we've left the... Okay, blocked. And, and then our inside forward is just going to jog. That's great. Fantastic. Doinks it over. Intercepted by Singo. He's going to overlap. Can we find him? Oh, okay. He has to hold up because we couldn't find him. And then he's going to give up a terrible pass and cause a counterattack. This is going to be a goal for them because of that. Because And then, yep. Oh, Immobile misses. He might have been slightly off. We were we were marking him close. Okay, let's do a little, little quick stop here and do a little encourage. A little, little encourage, lads. Yes, they love that. They're not really playing well, but they good on, good on you, mate. Good on you. Buongiorno. Good on you. I don't know. That's Tiago Almada. Mm, love that guy. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm happy. Again, we're not playing great, but like, we haven't conceded, lads. Like, let's let's put some smiles on some faces. 
Set piece. Oh, it's off the post or the bar. I don't know if uh, Sirigu got a hand to it or not. We haven't had a single shot. Almada's injured. Let's try. I want to say pass it into space. Shoot on sight. Being a little bit more direct. If if the opportunity is there, like if their wing backs are up, let's let's launch that a little bit. I still want us to be disciplined. Uh Lestian is playing terribly. Goodness me. I know you're not match right. He's got an injury. A potential knee injury. When was the game gonna notify me of that? <laughs> Easy, lads. Adam freaking Ida. Get in, son. Someone's like why? It's like because it's Adam Ida. Because he's gonna he's gonna score a goal for us to equalize after they score here. <laughs> uh, okay, win that. Mm, or just let him waltz on the box. Oh, that's unfortunate. Deflected. Not much you could do there. Uh, let's demand more after that. Their first shot on target, of course. It goes in. I don't even want to watch it. Doesn't matter. You all saw it. If you want to go back, you can. Oh, it's not playing well either on the left. Oh, no one's really playing well. Let's be, you know, completely honest here. The Lottie's on a 6.2. Okay, got another set piece option for them. This is not ideal. Unless it's a counter for us. That's not a good angle. That's not a good angle. That's That's not the angle that you would like a highlight to have. That's what we've learned there, my friends. <laughs> That's not the angle you would like a highlight to have. All right. Uh, Tonio, come on down. What can we do here? We can do nothing, I think. Um, we're going to put... We're going we're gonna to try this. Okay. You do what you're used to doing. She's going to take some of this off. It's almost counterattacking-ish. Distribute the uh, distribute it quickly. I feel like I'm doing a lot of adjustments for nothing, but we're gonna go attacking. No, we're not. No, we're not. Whew, I was bold, and then I was like, "Nah, it's a bad idea." And I, I feel like I can't take Belotti off because he's our best striker by like a long shot, like a really long shot. Um. Yes, I want to make my tactical changes that I just made. Now, I know they have a DM, so we're probably just playing straight into their hands, but I'm hoping maybe that helps us be a little more aggressive. Let's overlap the left as well. Let's actually focus on the flanks. And yes, we are now going to go attacking, and if you're going to play that poorly, we might as well give Bonazzoli a chance. What are you good at? Nothing! This is really about getting his match sharpness up. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves. At least we got the draw. Okay. Oh, that was... That looked good until it didn't. Singo steps forward, drives forward, and then just lays it off. Okay, now we're going to let them get back in their shape. Excellent. Rather than taking advantage of the chaos, Singo gets blocked. Rincon. Rincon is there. Oh, mate. Oh, oh, mate. Danilo. PSG, you're supposed to be better than that. That was a lovely finish. Did you see the spin on that? Let's berate the team. I know we're gone, we've gone attacking. We've not had a single shot, though. Ugh. Remember how the board wanted us to be more defensive? I mean, we beat Juve, though. You know? Like, come on, lads. This is Lazio. So they beat us, sure. But that's kind of expected. Far from pleased. Everyone is garbage. In good news, Parma draws with Bologna, so they're even on points with us, but we have six better goal difference than they do. Spal also drew with Udinese, so we are six points ahead of them. Um... Cagliari loses to Verona, so they don't expand their lead upon us. So we're still four points away from them. But it really, it's a battle between probably these three teams here. 
Um, because I don't think Bologna or uh, uh sorry, yeah, Bologna is gonna draw into that, and I'm I'm not thinking Spall's gonna get themselves into the mix. Um, just to give you an update, board's disappointed in our defensiveness. They're satisfied with our performance. Satisfied, but I'm sure that'll change, right? Like, kind of up and down. Obviously, A plus for beating Juve, C minus for the two dr for the draw and the loss, which I think is kind of harsh, but. You know, eh, you know, I tried to get some players involved in the under 20s. Milico is coming back from his knee tendonitis, so he's going to get the start because Lestien is out with a twisted knee for about seven more days. My friends, I'm going to skip, as I mentioned earlier, the Impoli and the Inter games. <laughs> um, yikes. Uh, and then we'll bring you back for really what I think is going to be some six pointers of Salernitana, Parma, and we'll hopefully be in a better position after that episode. Hit that like button, my friends. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>